his channel Anamika Zedu Space and today we are going to study about plant life which is a chapter in your class 2 and this is the first chapter. So here we are going to study about different types of plants. So there are different types of plants found all over the earth. Some are big plants while some are small plants. Some plants have soft stem while some have hard and woody stem. Okay, so let's move ahead. So at first, plants are of different types on basis of their sizes and shapes. Plants are classified into trees, into shrubs and into herbs. Now what are trees, what are shrubs and what are herbs? So trees are the big, tall and strong plants and these plants are known as trees, okay? This plant have a hard trunk, okay? So example of a tree is mango tree. Now what are shrubs? Shrubs are smaller than trees. They have many thin and hard stem. A shrub is also called a bush. For example, hibiscus plant. As you can see in this picture also. And I'll show you a picture of a shrub. So this is a shrub. Because of this formation, it is known as a bush. Because it is almost looking like a bush. Okay. Now, what is herb? So herbs are very small and big plants and they have thin and soft stems. For example, tulsi which we all have in our home. So this is a tulsi plant and it is a herb. Okay. Now let's move ahead and learn some facts about trees. What are trees and what are the new facts about trees? Now some important points about trees are trees have many branches as these branches be your leaves, flowers and fruits. Okay. So here you can see this if many branches, a tree has many branches and it also has a hard and a thick stem called trunk. So this one is a hard stem of the tree and this one is known as the trunk. Okay. Now the tree trunks are covered with hard skin called bark. Okay. Now this brown skin or the outer covering which you can see this brown color skin is known as the bark of the tree. The bark protects the tree and it protects the stem. Okay. Now there are two types of trees. One is evergreen trees and one is deciduous trees. Now the evergreen trees are such trees which keep their leaves all year round that is it is they are always green but deciduous trees sometimes they annually shed their leaves so these are known as the deciduous trees now evergreen trees are always green and the example of these trees are pine tree okay and the deciduous trees example is oak tree which annually shed their leaves okay now let's move ahead this is a money plant now this is a type of a climber okay so trees are not only that is plants are not only divided into tree shops and herbs but they are also divided into climbers and creepers now what are climbers and what are creepers Plants which cannot grow straight up as they have weak stems and so they take the support of the walls and the stick of the other plants to climb up. They are known as climbers. That is the money plant is taking the help of this stick to climb up. Okay. They are just crawling on the stick and they are climbing up straight. So these are known as climbers as they are climbing up with the help of a stick. For the example, a plant named climber is money plant. Okay. Now, grape, pea, these are also falls under the climbers. Now, what are creepers? Plants which grow along the ground as they have weak stems and cannot go upright are known as creepers. That is, they cannot climb up and they crawl in the ground. So, these are known as creepers. You can see the example of a creeper and you can see the diagram. It is a pumpkin plant. Okay. Now, here is the picture of a creeper and it is a pumpkin plant as you can see in the picture. Now, let's move ahead. Where do plants live? This is the next topic. Now, plants can be found both on land and in water. Now, name two land plants. Two land plants are rose plants. You can see in your garden only. And you can also find a mango tree. So, both easy the two examples of land plant are rose plant and mango tree. Now two water plants are water lily. We can easily see it in the 
uh, surrounding where you will find in the water body in a pond you can find this water lily and we also are frequent with lotus so water lotuses these lotuses are one type of water plant now how does the water plant grow in water so these have special plants and these lotuses and these lilies have special parts which help them to float in water now lotus has a big broad leaf here you can see the leaf of the lotus so this one is the leaf of the lotus okay this is the lotus leaf and it is a broad leaf which helps it to float in the water and survive okay now coming to the third part that is the desert plant now what are the desert plant the plants which are found in the desert are the desert plant now what are desert deserts are those sandy areas which are very hot and it have the very hottest climate where we find the camel animal okay now the desert plants or the two names of two desert plants are cactus okay this is a plant which you can see this is a cactus plant which have many thorns in it okay now uh, next example is date plum we often have this fruit that is date fruit so this is the plant of that fruit okay so this is a date plum now moving ahead now we'll study about different parts of a plant now what are the different parts of a plant different parts of a plant are starting from root then stem then leaf then flower then fruit and then bud okay now root what is root so roots are the the that part of the plant which means in the underground okay now the root fixes the plant to the ground and also absorb water and nutrients from the soil now stem second part is stem what is the function of the stem it carries water and nutrients from the root to different parts of the plant it also bears the branches now these branches also bears the leaves the buds the flowers and the fruits okay so let's study about leaves so leaf is the cork is called the kitchen of the plants because it makes food for the plant with the help of air water and sunlight okay so that's why leaf is called the kitchen cuz leaf is preparing the food for the plant now coming to the flowers the flower are the most colorful part of a plant flowers grow from bud and produce fruit so this bud you can see from the bud a flower grows and it produces fruit okay so next part or the last part of a plant is fruit so fruit is the fleshy and the juicy part of a plant fruit has many seeds inside it and the seeds grow into a new plant okay now here we can see that fruit has many seeds inside it this black color is all the seeds present inside the fruit this is a papaya and it is so fleshy and juicy this orange part is so fleshy and it is also juicy in nature now fruit also bears seeds now these seeds grow into a new plant okay this is growing to a new plant now we'll study about the flowers so how the flowers are formed this is a bud now flowers are formed this way this uh, is a time when the flower is blossoming and now it will blossom fully and it will open up okay now here we can see a clear picture this is a bud here the flower is blossoming and now it will open up into a full part now i hope it is clear now if you find this video helpful this is the complete chapter of plant life of class 2 now if you find this video helpful then please do like share and comment in this video and please do visit again thanks for watching